My first uh, contact was with a clarinet, actually, and I remember being very moved by this beautiful piece of wood, so to speak, and the nice case that it came in. And uh, I started improvising immediately, which is another way of saying fooling around, uh, trying to make a sound. And uh, then uh, I got a first saxophone a year later, a tenor actually, and uh, I loved to, to see that in this beautiful case and hold it. Uh, it was very uh, lovely feeling. I didn't get an alto until a few years later when uh, I was offered a job playing alto. And uh, after I used it, I liked it, and that became my voice. This isn't it, but I still have the first saxophone that I, I played. First instrument I played was Selmer, uh, 21,000 radio improved, I think they called it. And a uh, little bit uh, out of tune in the upper register. And so when people said uh, Lee Konitz has a very uh, individual sound, they could say that's because I played sharp in the upper register. If they wanted to say that, and they probably did some of them. But uh, anyway, uh, it had a very nice solid metal and uh, the sound that came out was uh, very pleasing. I, I've learned it's a habit now hearing the second register higher than the first register. I think a lot of people have that problem, but I definitely have that uh, habit. Uh, with the Mark VI, uh, it's more in tune up there, so it's uh, easier to, to play in tune. But, uh, you know, it's a very flexible instrument and uh, it changes with each situation, who I'm playing with, where I'm playing, etc., etc. Well, uh, I think, uh, you know, Benny Goodman was my first inspiration. That's why I asked my parents for a clarinet. And uh, uh, when I got uh, a tenor, then I uh, heard Coleman Hawkins and Lester Young. And uh, when I got an alto, I heard uh, Johnny Hodges, Benny Carter, uh, and then later Charlie Parker. They, those were the inspirations for me on that instrument. And I'm forever uh, grateful that uh, there were records of these people so I could learn their solos and do the things that the kids like to do, to know what a good sound feels like and what a good melody is, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it has uh, uh, mellowed out uh, in some way. My playing is uh, less notes uh, usually. Uh, with more uh, concentration on each note instead of a group of notes, a group of notes. So uh, I enjoy that kind of development. Some people say, yeah, you don't play as many notes as you used to play, you know. I say, that's right, and I play less notes, but they are more enjoyable. I've always played a summer. I tried other horns uh, briefly, but I always came back to the summer because uh, it was uh, a good uh, sound for me. Uh, the, the alto sounds specifically, but all uh, the different uh, uh, saxophones uh, get uh, a vocal sound. Uh, that's the attraction for me. The only trouble is on the soprano, oh, you gotta go up here, sing us. <laughs> I'm just happy that I've been able to enjoy a good instrument all these years. <laughs>